comrades, this is Ice Jim here, and today we are continuing playing Danganronpa. Last episode, we managed to find out who the murderer is. It was Mondo, the ultimate bike, le the ultimate gang leader, who killed the ultimate computer programmer. And now, here we are at the moment of truth. Oh, bro, what are you saying? I got no choice, man. After hearing all that, I gotta just... give up. Go ahead, Monokuma. Get it over with. Ask for the Jeez. goddamn verdict. Roger that! Wait! Hold on! No waiting! No holding on! Time for the moment we've all been waiting for! Grab your lever and give it a yank! Who will you elect as the Blackened this time around? Will you make the right choice? Or the dreadfully wrong one. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Mondo, if you never killed him in the first place, this wouldn't have happened. The murder is Mondo. You got it right again! Yes, it is! So, the blanket was killed! The blanket that killed Chihiro? Fujisaki ah! was! Mondo Owada! Unbelievable! In case you're wondering, the vote was not unanimous. Kita Kiyotaka choosing the wrong answer. You are trending very close to the danger zone, Mr. Ishimaru. You need to be more careful. I refuse to believe it! There's no way, no way he would kill Sorry. someone! What, what is this? Why are you apologizing? Why, why, why? Ah! Why did you do it? Jeez! Now then. Well, it looks like Mondo's taking up our son, so let me explain his Actually, behalf. the story of the murder this time is the sad story of the <laughs> Oh, but for anyone who doesn't really want to hear it, you can hit the circle button to fast forward the text. Oh. No thanks, I'm good. Anyway, there was a young boy, and his name was Chihiro Fujisaki. He had an extreme inferior complex regarding his own lack of strength. You're so weak, even though you're a boy. He heard things like that as long as he could remember, and he couldn't overcome his weakness. On the contrary, he tried to hide and bury himself further and further into that weakness. He took on the fragile form of a, a petted young, young girl, yet chosen that as his way out. Um... Now nobody will be able to say anything about even though you're a boy. But no matter how, but no matter how tightly he wrapped himself up in that shell, the fear of Clovis has already taken root deep inside of him. It was not so easy to web the weed out. As it turned out, the shell, has, the shell was completely empty. The complex didn't disappear, it said it only grew stronger and stronger. Weak, 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 weak. Once the killing game has begun, there are... Here at the high school, here at the school, he had no choice but to accept his fate. After that, his, this world is survival of the fittest. If you're not strong, you don't survive. And then the lovely and hateful Monokuma announced the revealing of the embarrassing secrets, which of course included Chiro's embarrassing secret, which I have more than willing to do. Even though he dressed like a girl, Chiro is actually hey, only. Um. And that was something Jihiro couldn't let anyone find out, no matter the cost. If that was revealed, it would be the end. The hardened shell would crack, the armor would fall away. Without a doubt, those around him would torture him more than ever before. Even figuring behind the rest, it is such a dilemma must have sent him spiraling into what? despair. And yet... Uh, I'm sorry. But... but... Annoyingly, he used the threat of discovery to motivate him to become stronger. That's right. I now want to change. change. I'm going to get stronger and accept who I am. Strong enough so that when someone says, even though you're a boy, I'll be okay, I'll get better. With that thought, as at the front of his mind, he resolved to take immediate action. And so... That day, he made the commitment to begin exercising. He was prepared to retain his mind and body. But sadly, that would be the first and only chance he would get at it. Hey, um... When he decided to start exercising, he thought it would 
it'd be good to ask for someone to help. But he wanted to tell that person his secret first, and then ask them to help him from there. And that person he yeah, went to... Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> that's issue one! <laughs> the Biker Game fella may have been painfully clear about how important his manly promises were. So Chiro probably figured that even if he's confided in Mondo, his honor would make him keep the secret. Uh-huh. Plus, plus, Mr. Macho Mondo was the very subtle of a strong man that Chihiro has always aspired to. He talked to Mondo about it will help me give me some courage. So, so he went and asked Mondo to help him become strong. Oh, wait, that's... That's not Monica. <sighs> that was his aspiration. And even though the only... That was a little error, jeez. And even though that only... Only with Mondo's support would he be able to come Correct. closer to that. So then he must have been what So then that must be why Mondo did what he did. To keep the promise he made to Chihiro. Huh? Did... Did what he did? You mean that why Mondo carried Chihiro from the boys' locker room into the girls' Indeed. locker room? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Uh... Wasn't that the cover-up he... Wasn't that the cover what he Certainly. done? That could have been part of it, but I don't think it was the main reason. The real purpose was to keep the promise between men he made but... to Chihiro. But how does moving the body keep because... the secret? Because if everyone knows he's been killed in the boys' locker room, then everyone would have been arguing about how she got into the boys' locker room, right? Once that started up, at least a few of us would have immediately begun to suspicion. But this is it. So he tried to protect Shiro's secret by putting him in the girls' locker room and stealing his handbook. See, then Mondo did all that to keep his promise, to keep the promise he made to Chihiro, who he also <coughs> killed. <coughs> Why would he do that? The more I hear you talk, the more I don't understand. I mean, you guys trusted each other, right? <coughs> the motivation. <coughs> Because no matter what, I didn't want anyone to I know. I knew it. So that what triggered it. <laughs> the possibility of having your embarrassing memories and secrets exposed. What? What is this? That's impossible. Nothing could have been that bad. Something he didn't want anyone to know, even if me. You're wrong. It's impossible. Don't make me repeat myself. I'll make sense myself. Repeat myself. To judge others by your own standards is the height of folly. Even if you can't comprehend it, he obviously can't take all their. <laughs> oh, while you're on the subject, why don't I tell you an embarrassing memory that's secret? You didn't want anyone hey, to know. Um... You don't. You know what Mondo did? He killed his own bro! What? <laughs> Mondo, the ultimate bi gang leader, makes all the hooligans and referees across the countries tremble. But the only reason he had the chance to join a gang in the first place was because of a certain someone. <laughs> Mondo's older brother's name was Daya Owada. Mondo had nothing but respect for him. It was because of Daya that Mondo ever got on a motorcycle. Mondo's brother was his only family growing up. He was the only one Mondo could trust or respect. He went to measure up to his bro big brother so he imi imitated him in everything he did. Mondo was the empathy of the starry eyed kid brother. Meanwhile, the sorry kid. The older brother, number number one in the game, and his number two, his younger brother Mondo. In the beginning, everything was peachy and gravy, peach and gravy. When Mondo, but when Mondo started to started to think about how he would have to take over, but when Mondo started to think about how he would have to take over the game from his little, from his brother someday, his brother greatness, the reputation began to go on Mondo's very soul. They had gone taking over for Daya, huh? Daya creates his gang with his bare hands, Mondo just along for the ride. Can someone like that really be our leader? All that'll do is make the gang yeah. bad. Almost, almost every day Mondo heard the gossip and was of the other members of the gang, which is why... I... I, I just... I gotta get stronger, stronger than Daya. Once, just one time. No matter Don't what, fuck with me! I'm gonna come out on top. And on that, and on that, on the 
give her the push ahead with reckless abandon and to victory and death and just oncoming traffic all of a sudden. Oh, his brother stayed in line. Oh, jeez. Laying in his brother's arms, the older brother delivered his final words. My bad, kid. I mucked up, sorry. Of course he knew it was his brother's fault, but Daya never blamed him for what happened. The rest is up to you. No matter what, you gotta keep the gang together. Cause it's the team, you and me, put together. It's a proof. A promise between men. <laughs> I'm still recording, goodbye. Can you start to hide the truth of what happened from everyone else in the gang? In order to keep the gang together and keep the promise to his brother, he can never admit to anyone that it was his own weakness that had caused the accident. And as a result, and the team, the team was made even stronger under the better of the kid who bested his big brother. Dad was gonna lose to his kid brother, so he got stupid and got himself killed. That because the explanation for what happened, Mondo lie became the truth. He wanted to lead the team so bad he was willing to tell all kinds of lies about his brother. I, I just, I'm strong. Yeah, strong, strong. And yet. As soon as our killing game began, he realized no matter how tough he pretended to be, he was just another weakling that could die in an instant. <laughs> and then the lovely, and then the lovely, the hateful Monokuma announced the revealing of the embarrassing... <sighs> this is annoying. Revealing the embarrassing secrets, and the point was clear. I would have the most shining light on Monoku, Mondo killed his own older brother. Yeah. No matter what, I couldn't let the other gang members find out. If that happened, everything would have been ruined. Everything me and my brother had worked to create would have been destroyed. His death, all the guilt I've been carrying around, would all be for nothing. So that's why I... I that's I, why I... I... Yeah. Mondo what I saw the Ma Monokuma had on me. My head filled up with kind of fuzzy uneasiness and just started swirling around. Sorry, someone's texting me. So sorry. I never felt anything like, like it before. I... I, I just... didn't know what to do about it. I wasn't sure what to think or say, but after a while, that felt like <laughs> uneasiness turned us up into a rock hard lump of anxiety. Way down in my stomach. And it was right around then that Chiro asked me to start working out with him. And right there, I. He told me his <laughs> Seriously? Jeez! I, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry I lied to you. <laughs> Why now? Why are you telling me this all huh? of a sudden? Because, huh? I mean, your kid... I think all the time, right? If anyone found out, you would... You're I right, want but... to change. I wrap myself in lies. I'm weak. I want to destroy that version of me forever. His words were like a knife in my gut. I felt like he was exposed to the lies I've been living myself. I have... I have to change. I don't want to be weak anymore. You're so strong. It can't hurt. It can't hurt you, right? Whatever secret Monica might tell us? You piece of... So what? You're saying I, I should just what? say it? You're saying what? if I really am... I should just be able to tell everyone my secret? Huh? I was jealous. I was jealous of Chihiro's strength. He had the strength to face his own weakness to try and overcome it. It was the kind of strength I never had. Was. And that uh, jealousy broke. What? Are you making fun of me? I'm strong. Are you mugging no. me right now? I'm not making fun of you. You really are strong, Mundo. I feel like I hear something starting to creak. Something inside my head. What did you want me to do? What was I supposed to do? Was I supposed to just sit back and let my secret get revealed and ruin everything? What's wrong? Damn you! Why do you have to tell me all that? Are you trying to rub my fire in my face? I just no, I just really admire you. I admire yeah, your that's right. I am strong. Yeah. I am strong. Yeah. You Stronger son of you. a bitch. 
And stronger than Daya, ja Daya. I don't remember anything after that. When I woke up again, he was laying at my feet, covered in blood. I had the dumb in my hand, I was just staring at him. Down on the ground. Hey! I... I killed Chihiro, even after all this time. I'm still just as weak as I've always been. And thanks to that, I did something I can never take back. Exactly. Mondo. He was normal so aggressive. He was normal so aggressive so angry. He hid that weak side away from everyone. That was his secret. Owing is like that living, lived in a heart like his, and it turned him cold-blooded. Well, you're sitting again to kick out of this monokuma? Look at him! You see? You are just like him. For a secret from the past, <laughs> for a that he killed another living human being, don't lie! He couldn't cut free from his, of his regrets. From the outside world, he doesn't know what true strength is. Do you see hope anywhere in there? Cause I sure don't! <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> Shut up! Go ahead and say that again, I yeah. dare you! Okay, I'll say as many things I want to do is, is what I want to say, but <laughs> unfortunately I can't do that right now because the time for punishment is fastly approaching! Punishment? You kid me! You mean execution? Well now, well now, well now, That's well what now. I promise you, right? The black and what's the servant the peace will be punished! Ridiculous! Hold yeah, on! I prepared Not a very special punishment! For Mondo, a one of the ultimate Later. Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! I said wait! Sorry, man. I couldn't keep the promise we made. Well... Run it to yourself, boy. And now you're gonna hang. Well, what's the punishment? What the world? The world? The mop? <laughs> this is disturbing. <laughs> Even as it's saying kind of hair The cage of death. Jeez. Oh! What's the point of this? Oh, it's going faster! Jesus! What the? What on earth? Mondo Butter? Did he disintegrate it? Was he melted or something like that? Dear God! <laughs> Laugh at death, and your soul will forever be at peace. It can't be my brother. Another murder, another execution. I want to feel again. Everyone lies or take it so lightly here. I feel like I might be going mad. Maybe I'll just... Jeez! As Taka sat, sad scream invaded our skull, we each forced to realize once again. But he, of course, he had to. What a disappointing. What a disappointment. Is this the end of the game? What is this? You're completely insane, you know that? A game? One of our friends is dead! You realize that? Of course I do, because the game is life hey. or death. I don't have anything to say to you. I don't have a response However, except that I just don't understand why. Why did you go uh, go out of your way to disguise Mondo's what? crime? Why? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Because I made things more interesting. His voice was calm, emotionless, like the voice of death. It chilled me to the bone. Last night when the murder took place, I was in the library. Honestly, 
So they ignore the night rule too. Hmm. That rule never mattered to me. I don't recall a green There map. is nothing to be done. Well, I don't particularly care. Please continue. I grew late, and I decided to return to my room. Which is when I stumbled upon <laughs> him. I found Mondo coming out of the girl's locker room. After he gone, I looked inside the song. What? Yumi actually witnessed the murder? He was such a fool, he didn't even have a slightest idea that it that I seen him. Wow. So you're saying you knew who the couple was from the very That's beginning? That's right. Indeed. But if that had been the end of it, how boring would it have been? I mean, what a waste of time to answer these. To have the answer revealed right at the beginning. Which is why I decided to lend a little helping hand. I thought I would be like lightning things up. You did all that to liven things up? So after hearing about Genesis and Jack from Toko, you decided to use that to create the fake murder scene. But if you hadn't figured out who really done it, you would have been dead too, right? <laughs> well obviously I would have revealed the truth before I reached that point. Of course. The younger turned and looked me in the eye. I can feel a sharp eye piercing into me. Thanks to a certain remarkable someone I knew and never did. And I was able to form an interest and I was able to perform an interesting experiment. Interesting. Once I do, once I do, decide to become black, I know now who I have to watch out for. What? So that was your reason. Are you satisfied? Well, we're done listening to your story. Hey. Moving on. There's something I'd like to What's ask this? Kuma. Oh, mm. I'm next. You'd like to perform these elaborate executions each time, correct? My question is, <laughs> why? Do you like them? But you know, the, this punishment is despair. It's not true. <laughs> all the punishments... All the despair is like kids to mankind and so... <laughs> I am not over exaggerating. The question is I'm going to transform all of the despair. What do you mean? Me? Me? <laughs> Me? What the heck? Me? 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 Good grief! I thought there was a way I had to pick apart every little stupid thing! Hmm, whatever. It doesn't matter. In the end, I'm going to stand alone as the victor, and then everything will be revealed to Ooh, me. Ooh! How exciting! I don't know what I'm doing. I understand. <laughs> I think this is the start of a terrifying That's thing. enough. Shut up, I will never stoop to a level of childish country like you. Let me just say this. After I have achieved complete victory, you're up next. I'm going to find you and In the name of my family. In the name of the Togami family. For which victory is a foregone conclusion. You're getting all riled oh, up! Oh, so cool! It's like you're the main character of a video game or something. No trash law. I swear, whatever it takes, I will kill you! Jeffer Chopper sounds like someone needs a man! Monokuma's laughter peeled across the courtroom and the curtain closed on the case of Shiro and Mondo. But I knew that wasn't the end. The killing camp would still continue because the mastermind wouldn't let it end. For those for those of us who were still alive, our worst fears and despair kept on multiplying. It was the kind of despair that felt like a blind puppy in blazes had more of the future than us. All of our courage, our effort, our friendship, it felt like an amount... It amounted to nothing at all. It was the worst kind of despair. Well, anyway, like I was saying, this is a pretty good spot. Yeah, a really good spot. Anyway, isn't it amazing how that girl went and killed someone before things even had a chance to get boring? Once things really get moving, it'll be like a roller coaster. There won't be any stopping it. Fear and despair charge forward at a speed nothing can hope to match. But I must admit, I'm disappointed. I went to all the pain and effort of making you part of the group, and you couldn't play your part. You do remember you were supposed to make the first move, right? Well, no biggie. Nothing we can do about it now. So just do your there's best a, to make things more exciting for you. After all, that's what everyone wants to see. As long as you don't want to know my measurements, fire away! Who is it? The 16th high school student. Oh, true. My, my. You really took me by surprise there. There's a 16th there. student after all? I know I said you could ask anything, but super denied, ultra denied, demonic denied. Because you see, 
That's my ace in the hole. And nobody would be dumb enough to reveal that, right? No matter how close they were to their friends. <laughs> Jeez. So we got a missing 16th student and a traitor among us. And then there was 10. To be continued. You got a crazy diamond. You received a crazy diamond present. I'm sorry, it's just that. Let's continue. Yes, I would love to save. Man. What a way to go. Oh. I know I shouldn't cry, but I've had enough. I can't take it anymore. Getting out of here anytime soon, it's impossible. I can't let myself think about how much I want to get out of here. If I keep thinking like that, I might decide to. Oh. Donuts. I need to eat some donuts. That'll cheer me up. Donuts? Oh, cute room. Geezy donuts, twisted donuts, jelly donuts, green bell donuts, home. Okay. Melisada. Oh. Alright. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please don't give me a break in the nighttime room. But right now, for me, donuts are absolutely necessary. Huh? 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 What's that sound? Hmm. Is that like it's coming from the bathroom? But. I'm super scared, but. Chapter 3. What? The next generation of the next Galactic Hero. Don't worry, after the conclusion of the second class trial, Hero Man at the Dining Hall just like always. I'd like to start like any other day. That was my second <sighs> Today, today's count kind of sucks. Huh? Toka and Byakuya still refuse to show us. Um... And I haven't seen Miss Asahina anywhere. <clears throat> She said her stomach was hurting, so she'd take it easy, you know? Oh! And it's rather unusual for her. Nobody she is so good mm. energy. That's exactly what makes you... So then... So it's just seven of us, then. How about that? It's time we come to a commit. The chairman needs to get his going with a bang! Whoa. Man, he's full of despair! Impossible! Or not. But it hasn't said a word since everything that happened yesterday. Well, look at his face show he has. Last night, it went to because of Mondo. The two of them became so close, and then he finds out Mondo killed Chihiro, and then having to watch Mondo get punished, and nothing he could do about it. I can't even imagine what it must have done to him. Wow. Man! So, I mean, what's gonna happen now? We haven't found any way out, and we have no idea. It's like. No, I'm gonna get this. What? Wait, no. Done. The mass might put such maze desires to their advantage to bend in you to them. You know? Okay, well, anyway, since Taco's life. Okay. Mm. As the oldest one here, I'm officially step out to take the lead. So we're all gonna work together and spend the rest of the day searching the school. I'm so, right, right? Well, I mean, since the class trial is over. Perhaps. Before, there should be no places for us mm. to investigate. Yeah, that's the trick. Maybe we find some kind of clue well, this time. 
Then once we're done eating, let's go and begin looking around. Do you have any problems with us, Celeste? <laughs> Come together. She bars in a You called for me, so I appear. You called for me, and so I appear. Genocide. Ah, nobody called you. Um. What the? How come is genocide chill enough? Yes. Ah, just leave this just a May. They finally a place I just be my mother self. I just I decided to stop holding back and spread my wings. No more hiding no. the king for me. I have another battle to fight. The whole kill. But the slip personality thing is so overdone. I got to destroy that stereotype. Yeah. Killer with a split personality. If she, if she weren't here, my chances of survival would go up at least 10%. Uh -huh. Come on, you got Back me up here. Even the biggest stars need a little people to hold up. Huh. Jeez. Well, whatever else we do today, first we should eat so we can do anything. We should eat. We can't do anything on an empty stomach. I'm getting tired from reading all this. Jeez. You're right. Let's hurry up and eat so we can start. <laughs> Oh boy, she's peachy. So we are forced to eat breakfast with a murderer. And after our much needed but very annoying meal, we went to work looking around the school. Yes. I would like to get some prizes, thank you. I got a sword! And a boom! Ooh, that's disturbing. Oh, why not? Here, take all my money! Wonderful. Those will certainly be helpful and keep our board at the Listen up! Ring, ring, ring! Hello there, allow me to exploit. We got fashion, motorcycle, martial arts, video games, baseball, science, all kind of magazines. Ba -ba. Oh, but nothing during the school. After all, if you need a quick fix, check out the Swinton magazine. So then. And we'll be adding. And we'll be adding to our collection and new issues. Too now. bad! What I not can do. You may not want to do right now. Magazines are kind of. Watch kind out! Of no, 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 anyway. That's it from my exclusion. Bye bye. What he just said. I know, right? Most oh, unfortunate. Life here would be a 
been much nicer if we could add some new issue once in a while and find us a pretty. Really? Are we in a nuclear war or something? Oh, nice, I got a coin. A coin! A whole coin! Two coin! A two whole coin! Something about it seems off, or multiple somethings. <laughs> well, well, look at all this equipment. It's certainly scratching that artistic itch of mine. Our supplies, of course, but they also got all my own sculpting tools. So hit boom. Do you like sculpting and figuring these? Yes, stuff? indeed. Well, normally I limited myself to 2D, but figuring these are like board borderline 2D, so it's okay. I don't know how that's borderline, but okay. <laughs> oh, fair. Trouble pumpkin key? Pumpkin head? I especially admire anything that Saburo Romp Honky makes. Jarambo ability to express the movement of muscles is exquisite. And see in his Mamma Cat series? Okay, like a little sculpture fairy representing in Century's greatest quality. Oh my word, this is so much information. <laughs> truly they have, truly they can only be regarded as the Elite Four. One of your elite. You know nothing! Well, the Elite 3 just sounds stupid now, doesn't yes, it? Yes, indeed. Besides, that empty seat right there, right belongs to <laughs> me. It begins. Today begins my reign as the legendary ruler of the next century. I see, well, good luck with that. Coin for that, jeez. Let's go in here. I'm guessing this is the art supplies. Yep. This is the right position room that attached to the art room. It's usually stored. What's this? There's something on the floor. It looks like a picture. But as I stretch my hand to pick it up, almost as if it's on a home, my hand froze. What? When I said what the picture was, Chihiro, Leon, and Mondo, and they were smiling. What is this? They just started racing through my head, one after the other. Why is it only three people? What are they doing together? How come they're smiling like that? When was it taken? Who took it? Where's the camera they use? How did I get it developed? And in the picture, they're doing in the classroom. They're not metal place covering it. Which must be wherever this picture was taken. It wasn't here at Host Peak. But no time to find answers. All the questions floating around my head are very much down on by. That's my give it back! Wanna keep it out of the way? Snatch the photo and. Ch and any chance I had, it evaporates. You picked, didn't you? 
Well then, I'll... Well, I'll have some pretty days. Isn't that wonderful? They would definitely like their school life. It's like they're ripping my page like out of the book of you. What's going on in that kitchen? Do you know? I'm not telling you. Do something. Why can't you give me a straight answer? No, I don't know no, why I bother asking. There's some more weapons. The last thing you can do.
stay away from her uh, fiend! Um... Anyway, first things first, we should talk about what we found. Right, Taka? <laughs> right. Which I will do that on the next video. Jeez, this video is getting... Man, I need a break. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, press that like button. If you want to see more videos on Sunday, make sure to subscribe to you totally free. Share this video with your friends. Leave a comment down below. Forget about the plan. I'm sorry. My tongue is getting twisted from talking so much. Jeez. Ah, I need a break. Well, anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. As always, I'll see you next time in video. Goodbye, everybody.